Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tasha, this is Tasha Pivots, and today we're doing the second part to my three-part series for the Year in 100 Acre Woods, where I'm talking about book resources and our book basket. If you'd like to hear more, let's get started. All right, y'all. So like I said in the intro, this is the second part. If you are just chiming into my channel, I am covering a three-part series this week where I'm talking about the Year in 100 Acre Woods. It is our foundation curriculum for our literature, poetry, Bible time, character building, and also some nature and science and handcrafts. So I, if you would like to see part one, I'm gonna link it right here above where you can check that out first and then come on over here to see today's video. But I wanted to share with you guys my book basket and book recommendations. Um, also for a, and resources. So if you've been following along since the first video, you know I have this little parent guide that I made and bound from the curriculum when I downloaded it. And I'm just gonna turn really quickly so I can show you guys. There's a section in here that talks about what books that we're going to need for this year's curriculum and what is recommended and all the things for our literature. It's on the literature page and it's gonna be listed here. Then there's also the week one or week by week where there is a list of book basket and regular. So I don't first wanna overwhelm you guys Book recommendations is not for you to feel heavy and feeling like you've got to break the bank. It's truly just some options that can continue the exploration for your children as they're studying their curriculum for the week. Um, so the first one though, I wanted to talk about our resources. Here I found, um, there's a list here where it's books that are the writer and founder created so that we can actually have something to reference, things and books that we'll be using continuously throughout the entire uh, 30 weeks, or also some that are gonna just be for several of our lessons that maybe you would like to pick up. Pick up. That's what I did. I split my stuff into th two categories. I was like, okay. I want to get some books that I know that we'll need, that we'll continue to use, that it's great for our library, and I'm willing to put my budget towards that. And then other ones is I have three ways where you could do, where you could build this up. The first one's going to be check out your library. Go to your librarian, talk to her, say, hey, I'm teaching, I'm a homeschooling mom, and I'm looking for these books, okay? You can give it to them week by week, or you could give them all at once if they're not too overwhelmed by it. I would probably do the week by week just to be on the safe side. And um, here's the list for the week one supply list. I see that I have things highlighted here. This is the things that I've already uh, had in stock and then the rest are things that I'm deciding whether I want to or if I found other things, right? So you can literally make a copy of this and give it to your librarian and say, if you have any of these books or the li libraries within the area can send them to you, I would love to have these um, and to um, check these out for the next couple of weeks. That would be great. That's the first one. The second one, you want to go ahead and check out your thrift bookstores, discounted bookstores. Some of these books that I'm gonna be showing you today, I either have purchased brand new or I've purchased as a thrift find. And I just love the reusable, recyclable, you know, if, it's, if it doesn't break, it's not torn up, use it again, right? So there's that. Then the third one is also check out or basically kind of the second one, check out your Facebook marketplace. You guys might have some friends, old teachers, retired um, teachers, also parents who were homeschooling and not anymore, their kids are in college and they're ready to kind of pass the torch of all their books and collections. And you could find some really great books for a really affordable price to build out this collection um, and build out your book basket. Also, um, the last one I would say is then go ahead and check out your Barnes and Nobles and your online options like Amazon and other book resources. But those are just some tips on wanting to pick up books first. Then there, like I said, I split mine into two categories. So the first thing I wanna share with you guys is truly the books that I feel are great for your library, for especially for this curriculum, and I think that you'll use continuously if you have multiple children. The first one, of course, is going to be The Complete Tales of the Winnie the Pooh. I got this one at Barnes & Noble for 20 bucks. It's definitely a steal, um, and it carries everything, and it goes in the chronological order of how the lessons were planned out in the curriculum. 
I love the aged old, beautiful individual books that we see on people's Instagrams and also just see in people's collections. But if you're trying to be affordable, you wanna do this curriculum, but you're looking to just find one book that you can have, this is your book, okay? Also, just side note, if you don't have one already, if you are a homeschooling mom, you are considered an educator, get you a Barnes & Noble education card. You get 20% off of every book that you purchase. Also on Teacher's Weeks or Teacher Weekends, you get an extra 10% off of that so don't be sleeping on them educator cards <laughs> so this is a great book great I'm super excited that it all follows through it's got the pictures inside um, and it really follows along with the curriculum okay I love this there's that then the next one I want to show you guys that they had in here um, I have them a little all over the place. Actually, I have them right here. <laughs> okay, so next one is this one, The Wild Lives, 50 Extraordinary Animals That Made History. I love this book. Um, I've been sitting with it. It was kind of a preview and like a little sneak peek to tell us that we needed to pick it up. I don't know if anyone caught that on the Instagram channel, but this one has all of the animals in, that are really well known in our history that have done significant things. I love the pictures and descriptions um, and details that are in them that tells their story. And it just gets your children excited to know that there's animals that are making a difference in our world just like they can. Um, and so there's that. The next one I have, I already had this in my library. I've talked about this in my video when I talked about resources. If you want to check that out, I'll link it in the description box below. But this is Nature Anatomy by Julia Rothman. I think this is super fun for you to just get more of a reference for your children, to get more visual aid of what's uh, different trees, different pollens. Um, all the things that we see in our nature. So this is a great, great book to have. Um, I bought the entire collection and I love them. My daughter loves picking them up randomly and sitting and reading these. So this is a great find um, and it's great for your resources. The next one that I saw on the list that is you know, highly recommended for us to add in was this one. And this is the world of animals. And I was super excited to be able to find this actually at a thrift store because when I first looked on Amazon, because it was like one of a kind, it was like a hundred dollars, y'all. And I got this for eight bucks. Yes. And so eight dollars at our thrift local find. If you're here in Texas, go to Half Price Books. I you also can get an education card for that, and they give you 10% off of everything that you purchase. But I love this, it's like an encyclopedia of animals. Um, and just giving details about them, their habitats. Um, I'm on fishes right now, but it's a little bit of everything. And great for those kids that, you know, love to hear all the details. And especially in this curriculum where we're going to be really diving in, this is going to be a great uh, resource for us. Now for our... Um, our, let's see what it is, a faith-based learning section, okay? I have the Children's Book of Virtues, and I'm super excited to add this into my library. I already have the Children's Book of Heroes because we are doing the Heroes in Hope for our, um, our history. So this is great. I'm gonna be excited to be opening this up and reading these stories with my child. I love that all this watercolor, y'all. I love me some watercolor, but look at that, compassion and faith. And so this is great. I didn't get to read these when I was a kid, but I know that these have been out probably since I was a child. So all of this entire collection by William um, Bennett is a great one to have in your library, okay? So those are my resource books. I have a few more in here, but they're also included in our, in our basket for this week. So I'm just gonna be showing you what's in my book basket for the first week of our lessons. We're going to be learning about bees and we're gonna be learning about oak trees. So another one that was here in here that I have on the list that I was able to check off is this one. It's The Oak Inside the Acorn um, by Max Lucado. And he's known usually for writing a lot of faith-based books for adults, but he has a, a quite a bit of ones for children. And so I'm excited to hear this perspective about this tree and have some reading material that can connect with our faith and with our um, knowledge about trees. And so this is gonna be a great one to read with our kids. That's that, I got that one as a thrift find as well. Now, the one that I did get, I have a couple of bee ones in here that I gotta show y'all. The first one that's new is the bee book. Uh, this one was also on the list for picking up for this week and I was able to find it brand new. It's by DK, so you know it's full of goodies. 
we love honeybees and we love honey and it talks about how many uh, bees that it would take to create a jar of honey or a t actually a teaspoon of honey um, it talks about the beekeepers and the trees and it's just full of like lovely facts i love the colors and if you wanted to you literally look at that there's queen bee um great little find i'm excited for this as zoe once was afraid of bees and now has slowly has a heart and understanding of them and so i'm excited for us to explore this more this week so there's that one um another one it's a huge big uh i think collectible item uh for our homeschooling people and homeschooling mamas and that's the big book of bugs so that was on our list as well and i've been waiting to get my hands on this but i didn't want to just purchase it just because i'm obsessed with books but i wanted it to be used in a tangible way so i was super excited to see that this was going to be in our curriculum um and that it's a good book basket find but it's going to be in your book basket for multiple weeks so so this is one that we're going to be doing um, and we're going to be exploring, especially for the bees. If you haven't seen the inside of this book, y'all, it is just, look at that. Look at that. So beautiful. Um, I'm excited to eventually collect the entire, entire series. There's the big book of beasts. There's the big book of blooms and then the big book of ocean or a big book of blue for the ocean and, and exploration. So super fun love this we're going to be diving into that i've already seen my daughter open it a couple of times since it's been here um another one i have to show y'all okay so i'm not trying to alarm you if you made it this far in this video you just got to see this book it's super cool i found it for like three dollars and it's called the b and it gives you a 3d version y'all like look at that what we are going to be some bee extraordinaires when we get done. I thought this was so cool. At first, I thought my kids might be a little scared. Even I had to take a look back for a second. But I think just to give them some 3D looks up close. I mean, we're not able to like capture a bee and we don't really want to. But, you know, to be able to look at something that close. This is such a great find. Thrift. Half price books, y'all. Found that. I'm gonna speed through the rest of these because I've got quite a few. Um, another one that was on here is As an Oak Grows. So this is again, exploring our oak trees and giving us some more detail. I love the pictures. I love that things are not super bright. I'm not into that like super neon um, things, but I love like a watercolor, soft muted colors that gives us detail, but we can also enjoy the details. Like look how beautiful that is. Yeah, y'all, we are so excited for this. So yes, those are pretty much all of my books. I have a couple more in here. I'm just gonna show you. Um, this is, I love the, I love this tree. Discover the life and beauty and importance of trees. So this has like multiple trees details about them. And this is gonna be a part of our morning basket. And then let's see, I have, I have another one that we're gonna do, The Boy Who Grew a Forest and The Giving Tree. Um, I think these are gonna be great for just some book basket time. Lay these in the corner. Like this actually goes in this corner over here and it's in a little cute little basket and I just set them out and whatever, we're just interchanging them. That's why I said check out your library because each week as you explore a new um, animal or feature in this, in this uh, curriculum, to be able to have these books just setting aside that during their time after school is done or after lunch or whenever, all week long, they get to continue to explore and grow their minds on the subject that they're learning. And then they'll come back the next day and you're ready to teach them something else. And they're telling you about all these facts and you're just like, whoa. <laughs> so that is what I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to hear more about tips and tricks on collecting books um, and how I find them and look for them, leave it in the comments below. Uh, give this video a warm thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Hit that red subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see y'all tomorrow on part three where we dive in on how I'm bringing my toddler into this and how how we do crafts and budget all this together. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Bye.